Hello viewers, in today's video we'll look at exactly what my settings is for the Asus Dual GTX 1660 Super Evo OC. I've received this question a couple of times in the comment section across multiples of my videos, specifically ones where I've displayed this specific mining activity in the background in somewhere on the screen. There's a lot of people who have been stating that they also have an Asus NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super and they want to know how I got to 55 watts out of that. Most of them are running this specific card on 70 watts. So in today's video, I'll show you exactly what my specific settings are. However, this does not mean that if you duplicate this exactly, that you will also get 55 watts on this specific card. Unfortunately, that doesn't work that way. So what you can do is decide for yourself if you're going to copy my exact settings and see what it does. Now, to get to these exact settings, I did a couple of tests. And if you go and watch some of my overclocking videos, you will see the exact steps that I go through while I overclock clock a specific card so i wouldn't just go ahead and just uh, slap in any overclocking settings without following those exact steps but you guys asked for it so here it is so this year on top this is my t-rex minor folder and i just made a copy of this one the current one that's running on the side here and i renamed it the 1660 super aces just for the specific video and so i can play around with this while the main one is still running here on the side so if you look at it here you'll see the first section of the bat file of the t-rex miner this is the way that you have to edit the first section if you want to run it in administrator mode now if you're going to put in some of the settings here underneath you would need to run it in administrator mode otherwise it would not work so this is the exact file path of where the t-rex miner uh, executable file is if you look here at the top it's looking for that exact file over there so on my specific rig this is in the c drive under users rig intel is the username that i have for it it's my downloads folder and it's currently running on version 0.20.4 i'm sure there is a later version out there currently but this one works fine for me i haven't changed that at all so that is this exact file path over here so and i also put it in asterisk over there so that it understands that this is a full string here sometimes it depends on which programs that you use if you don't have the asterisk in there in or if you have specific terminology in here the way that you maybe structured your file or something it would not work so i just put in the asterisks over there and that way it's safer and it works and it understands that that is an exact file path so currently it is running on the e -tash algorithm this is the uh, server that it's pointing to which is still the ethermine.org server so just for an update also on my mining pools for those of you that are interested i'm first going to keep on going to ethermine.org yeah i've stated in previous videos that i'm going to change to for instance two miners or some of the other pools I will still change to them and go and test them. However, I thought it would be best for me to have a bench or something to compare it to. For a couple of weeks, I'm going to stay on ethermine.org. And then when I have something to mark the other pools against, once ethermine changes their payout policy, then I would go to the other pools and then compare it, which I will also make follow-up videos for you on that explaining exactly what their fee structure is so and the next one this is the this is my wallet address that i'm mining to so over there you would have obviously your wallet in address in there don't mind if you put my wallet address in there you can do that that will give me a bit of extra crypto but you need to put in yours over there and over here would be the password ethermine.org doesn't require a password over there and then this is just the name of the worker that i have now here we get into the advanced settings so this first one dash dash dag dash build dash mode and then it is the sequence of the gpus so over here you can see in gpu one or well the setting there for that one is two this is the asus nvidia rtx 3060 ti which i'm running this is not the lhr this is the one that was before the lhr which is why i'm getting the 60 mega ashes per second over there now in t-rex minor the research that i did on this specific setting states that it's better to put a two over here if you for instance running that specific card 3060 ti now also then there is a comma and this would be the second gpu third fourth fifth and sixth one so this specific setting for this specific card for the asus nvidia gtx 1660 super or dag build mode is set at zero so it actually bypasses this or doesn't do anything with this 
so you probably wouldn't need to put it in here if you're only running that specific card over there however you guys asked me exactly how i get to that 55 watts i don't know if this influences it at all or it doesn't so it's up to you if you're going to decide to put in that build might not do anything it might do everything so the next setting that we have here is dash dash fan and that is 55 is for the first one because the 3060 ti runs a little bit hotter than the other ones and then it is the fan speed for the rest is all 50 50 50 50 then the power limit across the board or dash dash pl that's for the power limit that across the board on all six the gpus i said at 90 the reason why i said it at 90 will come clearer once i explain the next one so on the msi afterburner on the overclock settings which i did i took this power limit on it down to around about 50 percent and the reason why i set it at 90 and not specifically for every card is because the lock core clock actually drops down the power usage on these cards which is why you would normally if you just set it to your power limit to 90 and you didn't lock the core clock then these wattages would be a lot higher however t-rex minor if you set the settings here in the bat file with dash dash lock dash c clock that limits the power usage of the cards as well and it also it tries to lock the well basically what it says it tries to lock the core clock setting of the card so it's not trying to keep it in a range or something which is what it would normally do on msi afterburner so over here the first card the 3060 ti the lock core clock is at 1335 and then all the other cards i set to 1000 depending on which card that you use or which card with 1660 ti or 1660 super you have you might have to play around with these settings but i find that these ones deliver stable performance so i can probably push the mega ashes up slightly into the, some of these into 32 mega ashes and the other ones into the 31s but i find that these settings are very stable i prefer to have the miner running for a couple of days without any issues rather than me having to babysit it the whole time then the last setting that i've set in here inside the bat file is dash dash m clock which is your memory clock and your memory clock for the 3060 ti i set at 1150 for the two 1660 ti's i set them both at a thousand in the first 1660 super i have which is the msi one that i set at 800 and then the other two 1660 supers which is the nvidia and the aces are both at 950 and that is your full bat file here explained all the settings that i have specifically for that now on if you look on your screen then you'll also see this is the specific card that i'm talking about is the back side of it and you can see the risers that i'm using there and but all the lights are on there and you can see that the power is plugged into the six pin to provide power to the riser here at the back you can see that it's a extension cable that i have in there and it goes down all the way into the breakout board which is connected to the 750 50 watt hp power supply and that is the front of your card with the two fans spinning away at 50 percent now over here i have a temperature gauge which i set to being on the surface there you can either set it to being on the the body if you don't to take someone's temperature or surface is well obviously self-explanatory just to take the temperature specifically on the card so over there top side that i pointed it at was at 23.1 degrees celsius there i'm taking the temperature at the back and that is at 30.9 degrees celsius and then i guess here on the front side it depends on if you're pointing it at the fan or not so at the front where the fans are running it's 23.7 degrees celsius now over here i'm trying to point it directly at that steel pipe there that is at 30.9 in the front grill at produced 24.8 there you have the actual temperatures that the card is running at as well so over here on the left hand side this is tech power ups gpuz and this is what we normally use to see which specific insights the cards has so this would be the year it gives you the name the nvidia geforce gtx 1660 super release date is october 29th 2019 and over here you can see the specific BIOS version that I'm also running. That is 90.16.42.00.60. You might be running different BIOS version, then you would probably get different results on this on your specific ACES. Here you can see sub vendor it says states here that it is an ACES card. 
And over here you can see it's a Micron memory. Yours might have a different memory. Yours might have a Samsung or something else, which would also influence the results that you get. And here you can see the NVIDIA drivers that I'm running. That is a specific NVIDIA driver that, I, that it is installed on the mining rig, which works for all my NVIDIA cards that I'm running over there. And the driver date for that specific one was the 27th of May, 2021. So I hope that gives you a bit more detail into your specific questions that you had on this card and how I got to my 55 watts that I earn on this specific card while mining. Please scratch the like button down below. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave those questions in the comments. And remember to subscribe and activate the bell notification so you would get notified of future videos that I'm going to release. Thank you. Cheers.